guys, my camera is gonna die right away, so I'm gonna do this real fast. What's already broken? Oh, marry me. We'll be a choir of. Hey, fam. I am on the road currently, and I've been trying to make this video for a few days. Um, oh, I just saw someone with Tim Hortons. I've been out of Canada for a few weeks, and I have been craving Tim Hortons. Now, I love coffee, and I wouldn't say that Tim Hortons has the best coffee, but if you drink Tim Hortons, and you're away from it for a while, well, me anyway, I just crave it. So, there's Tim Hortons over there. I'm going to go get my Tim Hortons today. Um, I've been in California for a few weeks. I took my cello. It's all back there. Got some peaches. And uh, I've been trying to find the best spot for my cello, actually, because I've been driving through a whole bunch of different climates. I've been driving through um, the mountains, like kind of in to the mountains and out of the mountains and um, you should loosen your strings and you can even lay down your bridge when you drive through that because the altitudes and the different changes in climate I believe like sort of um, well it expands and contracts the wood at least but the strings um, will just be like continuously expanding and contracting. So, yeah I've been in California for a few weeks I've been at a worship school which has been pretty cool. I was the only person with a cello there out of 650 people so um, I don't want to say I was the only cellist there because some people were like oh I played cello as a kid and um, but I was certainly the only person that brought cello to learn um, and that's something I'm finding. Cello the coolest, one of the coolest things about it is I am a musician by trade um, and there are so many people, you know, in the world trying to get their music heard and um, there's so many people that sing and, and it's all beautiful but as soon as you pick up a cello and um, you can do things with it for pay, um, it's like a niche market. So um, I am not the best cellist, I'm not even an advanced cellist. Some people call me a intermediate sort of junior level, um, but I still sometimes get paid to do stuff with it, which is really cool. I am going to make a video on um, how I make a living as a musician. I saw someone else do that and I was really interested in what she had to say and um, so I am going to make that video. Let me know if there's any other sort of things that you would like me to do. We just passed I'm at 900 and something subs, subs right now, subscribers, which thank you so much. Um, I have sort of built this channel really slowly with you um, because I've been listening to your feedback and even things that you don't want to see. But a video, something that I've wanted to touch base on for a long time um, is, oh, that is so dirty is a question that I often get asked. Actually, sort of two questions. But the question is, is the cello hard? Is the cello difficult? Is learning to play the cello difficult? And, um, I mean, there's a short answer and there's a long answer. Um, so people always ask me that question. And I never felt qualified to answer it and it's not that I feel qualified now it's just that I'm learning that this is my channel and all I can really post is my experience so I'm going to tell you my experience um, and then the second question I often get asked is did you play any other instruments prior to learning the cello because a lot of you that have connected with me tell me that you're just beginning to learn the cello you're an adult as well um, and you're on a similar sort of journey that I'm on and then some of you also are saying that you've always wanted to learn it and you've connected to my page because you just you've always wanted to learn it and you're not learning it yet but you're go you're so close and uh, and you're wondering is it difficult and is it um, even possible if you've never learned an instrument prior to learning the cello and I was thinking about this 
yesterday on my long drive from California, um, I, yesterday I drove through California, Oregon, and Washington, and there's so much beautiful country out there. Um, I'm right now in Fernie, British Columbia, and it is gorgeous. I'll give you a shot or a picture maybe right here. But I was thinking about what it would have been like to learn to play the cello if I hadn't played any instruments prior to learning the cello. And there's your answer. I do. I did learn um, piano as a kid and then I moved on to guitar and then I took classical voice training for a long time. Um, and all of those things I thought greatly helped me in learning the cello. Like the guitar really helped me with the fingerboard. Piano really helped me with strength in my fingers because it's a similar downward motion on your wrist versus like guitar it's sort of I don't know you don't need as much strength um, in those fingers to play guitar because the strings aren't as big um, and also that you do something different with your wrist so piano actually helped with like that motion um, but I was thinking you know if I hadn't learned an instrument prior to the cello it, it would have been interesting like it, it may I, th I thought it would have been harder, um, but maybe I wouldn't have had anything to compare it to. And if you have a teacher that knows how to teach um, beginners like that, then you'll be fine. Um, because they can put on your finger tapes and you'll, you'll just know where to press down and you'll build up your calluses. And it might be a really cool experience to learn cello as your first instrument. I'm sure there's going to be like professional cellists that see this video and you can comment. Um, in the comment sections below if you don't agree with So, is learning to play the cello difficult? The short answer is yes, <laughs> but um, that's because I want to learn it well and I want to have really good technique and I want to keep going. So, um, is it possible? Absolutely. If you just want to learn how to make a beautiful sound, it might not be difficult for you. Some people might say, yeah, learning the cello isn't too hard. I, I, I made a video learning to play the cello in 30 days, which did tick some people off because uh, it's kind uh -huh. of pretentious. Did I learn to play the cello in 30 days? Like. That was my goal, like I, I met my goal in 30 days. My goal was to just kind of get a really good foundation. So it depends what you want to do with the cello. Um, is learning to play the cello difficult? It is if, if you want to be um, advanced at it. It is if you want to do something with it, like I want to record and make a record with it and I want to play weddings which I have already done both of those things um, but that's like a really black and white cut and dry thing it is or that's like a black and white cut and dry answer because it is totally possible totally possible to do and learning to play the cello has been like I want to say it's my most favorite instrument but that changes daily because um, I like to play lots of instruments, but it has been so rewarding. It has had its times of being frustrating, but it has been so rewarding, and it has taken me to places that other instruments have not, like California, um, and I just plan to continue to move forward, and I'm so excited about all of you that tell me that you are playing the cello and you love it, um, that you're following along and um, that you enjoy my videos even. I can't even like fathom that because I'm honestly just, you know, living my life, sitting in my car here in Fernie, British Columbia, getting ready to hit the road. And, um, and people from all over the world have messaged me and, and I'm just, I love that. I'm so appreciative of that. Yeah, just YouTube is insanity. Um, it's a beautiful tool. So. I guess that's it from me. This video feels all over the place. To recap, learning to play the cello is worth it. 